just was my advertisement. So, to so for the so to catch up for specifically a for specifically I think a uh, wagon. Uh, to your character, nothing has really changed. <laughs> because, uh, because if I remember correctly, spook never... physical therapy for for brain bioware implants. Yeah, you're you're in like physical therapy for something, or maybe you're going to counseling with your NHP. I don't remember. But you were part uh, of the uh, time jump or the time change. I was going to counseling. A spook going to counseling. You're going to counseling That's with cool. your NHP partner. This is mandatory whenever an NHP is breached. So I'm going to counseling with Vector. No. No, with your Athena class NHP. Oh. Because it because okay. it accidentally became unshackled. Yet yeah, mandatory therapy is required for both parties of for both the mech and for the for both the NHP and the Lancer. So that is why you were not part of the type of the uh, weird timey why machine shenanigans. Good. So from your perspective, nothing has really changed. Everyone else is just acting a little weirder than normal. Compared to this book, also, compared to this book, she thinks he's insane, and everyone else is insane. So this is normal. Yeah. So for, from the spook's point of view, everyone is just like acting like really weird and a little suspicious, like they're hiding something. The spook hasn't met Lyrell yet. No, she has not. What would the spook also, be doing after the uh, mandatory therapy with their NHP? <laughs> well, uh, painting more ruins on my blood, blood soaked ruins, painting more blood, painting more ruins on blood, uh, paint that's made out of blood. <laughs> I think PB said hard. no to that. Yeah, no, I said no to that. I put my foot <laughs> down regarding that. <laughs> because you specifically wanted to use prisoners of war. Fair enough. Which is uh, a big no no. Give me one moment. Let me find roll 20. Alright. So, Lyrell, do you by chance head up to Heaven's Gate? What? Uh, Lyrell was just exiting Callhold, and you said that Eden was gonna connect me to Vecna so we could talk about the thing. Right, but unfortunately, Vecna isn't here right now. Uh, well, I guess since Lyrell can't progress until she has Vecna, she'll just. Yeah, I, I imagine she would head up to Heaven's Gate to start fabricating the components. Maybe if she can show the suits to Vecno, it'll be easier to convince him. True. So, you were able to call up a ride, get you and your weird scrap heap of a secondary mech uh, taken out to heaven's gate. Heap. Scrap heap of the highest quality scraps. <laughs> Eden is still wondering why you want... What, just, why? I will insist that it's part of a cultural exchange program. <laughs> he didn't... He just looks at him and just like, what the fuck? Do you understand oh, that shoot. we can build this, like, way better? No, no, this is peak um, artistic interpretation. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, it's okay. not about making it better, it's about making it my way. 
I got a 17. Four. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if Eden can see past the bullshit. Did did we level up recently? Uh, what level is everyone? I believe we're, I believe we're licensed level eight. Yeah, level eight. Okay. Oh, my. She does <laughs> not see past the bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go. He didn't just size. The women are too unknown for her to tell what's what. Yeah, she's having a very hard time picking up on social cues and shit. She's like, ah, fine. Just make sure it doesn't break down or anything, please. It'll be fine. Either I... Jakes, if it just softly cheeks her in. If you say so. She then gives the cat girl a pat on the head. Pat, pat. Before uh, heading before heading back down the hall and just vanishing. Melty lady melts. <laughs> she goes slurping through the floor. So, uh, so Lyrell, as you are walking through the halls, you eventually run into Spook. What does the Spook look like? Uh, That's Spook. Uh, hold on, let me go find the art that the wagon had. You have to find it somewhere. I I can ignore cover when I, if I go uh, see through see through seeker. Yeah, cool. I ignore ignore both soft and hard call. She looks like this. Meanwhile, uh, one second. Yeah, I don't mind. <clears throat> Just me, it's a lot better than the original art that they wanted to go for. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, okay. The spook sees this. I uh, at you in art. Triple art. You okay, uh, Dwagon? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Alright. Okay, so the spook's just kind of like, uh... The spook is moving through the hallways doing spook shit when they run into a... Four, like a four foot three cat girl. No, no, four foot six. Four foot six cat girl with two tails. Uh, invasion. Key capacity. Give me one moment. Oh, you're feeling at your sheet. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm, I'm doing both. Okay. I, I, I pinged you an art for the art of light. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw. Uh, okay. The spook will, uh... It's cool. will simply, you know, will take out a data pad, or a, like a, a data pad and like a stylus, and slowly circled the four foot cat girl taking notes. My well would take out a data pad and a stylist holding it up and slowly circle the spook taking notes. <laughs> uh, By notes the way, I hit my scan button. The, the, the cat, the cat girl, like, her I'm second deep, tail like, like, you know? uh, appears to be made out of like people of stone mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, uh, Lyrell, when you put, when you put, hit the skin, one second, button, I'm willing for it. Uh, that is a, that is a quit. Well, as you're scanning her and trying to look up anything that might be on the ship systems, most of it is redacted. Like a huge chunk of anything is redacted, like black lines through everything, except for me also... and part of the rank. Is this just light on fire without Fernand? Uh, they didn't want to. Uh, what else? Uh, did Lyrell? Uh, what did Lyrell's scanner come up with? Uh, Lyrell's scanner, it, it comes up with very little, besides the fact that she is human, 
and that that her nickname via the ship's computer is Spook. Oh no no, Lyrell wasn't looking up her data. She was actually scanning using the fancy scanner she got from the anything device, the really advanced one. Oh right 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 right. Ah yes, the very special data pad that can tell a lot. Well. I know, that's why I was rolling. You said I had to roll when I use it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, I mean, we do win this round, but this no. So it's basically just the size scanner from Red Dwarf. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it really it, it's having some trouble picking up a bit. It, it, it's having trouble kind of like figuring her out in general. Besides the fact that she is indeed human, she's wearing she's wearing armor and uh, has a few uh, neural implants. Is a spook? Side note: very spooky. Yes, I would look at that. Is spooky? Is a spook? Very spooky. Much danger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh my, my, much danger. Okay, good. This thing had a built-in danger waiting. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's adapting to my, my Rails way of thinking. Oh, I like this. It's good so, Lyra, Lyra would look up. Lyra would look up. It's really dangerous, and it's more complicated than evil Vecna's future bot. I mean, uh, uh, the underground place. Yeah. Um, I'll lock my Tortuga frame. Okay. <laughs> what is their burrow? They, their speech should be faster than speech. Oh, so, nice. Okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I guess it's skills. <laughs> so we have the spook and the cat girl circling each other in the middle of a hallway. Well, why? Well, every time I L circles, she's actually step. She's actually circling, but stepping backwards. <laughs> so it looks like a weird dance is going on. Yes, Lyle's trying to not. You know what I'm gonna folk. do? What I'm gonna do? I'm going to turn activate my self hard suit. <laughs> what? Ooh. As you're as you're trying to scan her, Lyrell, she suddenly suddenly there's a shimmer of light and she is gone. Hmm. I just continue on my merry way. <laughs> okay, so PB, as you know, the Rem are experts at stealth. Yes. Can my scanner still detect where she is or the space where nothing is? Yes. I know you're there. I can smell your peanut butter. <laughs> uh, I have a four. I have a plus four to a roll. It seems I just roll a d20. Uh, plus four. For what exactly? Act on scene. Act on scene. Uh, you can attempt it, yes. Do I need to make a roll myself? Uh, I'd say sure. Just okay. contesting I'll just to try use to... the scan. I'll just use the scanner again. Oof! And Oof, she disappears. It would, it would be a, it would be spot, would it not be? Uh, it's Spot's mostly like, because of her it. unique data path thing. Okay, okay, okay. It has a unique scanner on it. It's it's a thing. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to Mech Hanger. So I L nods, sees that the thing disappeared. Uh, then she, then she scrolls to the contacts, hits Eden. Yes, I will. What appears to be it. It's haunted! It's haunted! Wait, no one's right! This ghost is haunted! Help! <laughs> uh, Lyrell, calm down. Calm down. What's no, going no, on? No, there was, there was Nascat to... Hmm. 
You know, the engine wounds seemed pretty solidly reinforced, so that's where Lyle's gonna hide. <laughs> Edith's just, I mean, Edith's just, have... Edith's just like, calm down, calm down, what's going on? We can just have Jericho pop his head out of the manufactory and just like, the hell are you yelling about? Meanwhile, meanwhile, this boot just goes to her mech, climbs in her mech, and falls asleep. <laughs> so, Lyle will flick the data scan of spook, very scoop, spooky, very scary. That's a big impact. And I'm so glad I didn't go down at rhinos because suiciding. Oh my god! What? The mocha. Oh my god! The the space read can't go. Got a hammer. <laughs> so... Wait, what? Nakona got a hammer? Nakona got a hammer. I gotta see this. The paw stomper. <laughs> oh, oh, Nakona got a smack. <laughs> oh, that's so anime. Paw <laughs> stomper. <laughs> Large magical girl hammer named the paw stomper. <laughs> oh my god, she made it herself entirely. No, no, with much help from her brother Filgrim and Ferris. Uh, Ferris, Manus, and Fulgrim. So I may I'm making an I'm making a tortuga mech called Jack Sparrow. Oh God! Uh, oh God! I, you are by far the worst lancer I have ever heard of. I, but you have heard of me. Uh, wait. How do I Corvona install auto stabilizing mounts? <laughs> how do I do the uh, whole system thing? Uh, the whole SP. Scroll down to the bottom oh, I got of it. the mech. I got it. I got it. Why does everyone so have trouble paint. with that? Custom paint job. Uh, so, Lywell okay. would run to the engine room. I'm assuming it would it would be locked like before. Lywell oh, unlocks and opens the door anyways. And now she's hiding in some small nook amongst the components where she probably shouldn't be. And just continues communicating with Eden, explaining the really scary thing she saw. Eden just appears in the in the engine room, just sitting next to Ryrell, just petting her head, just trying to calm her down. Box? Yeah, common enough. What? It's a, what is this? It's a crossover between Vermintide and Darktide. Okay. Yeah, this is, oh, I have. This is all the Vermintide characters, but in Darktide, which is the 40k version of it. Yep. Uh, Hunter Lock? And the big guy who's asking Box is called Ogren, and, uh,. <laughs> They're very uh, simple people. Very big and very simple. They uh, they don't exactly <laughs> think too well. But yeah, I can't. Eden's just like, okay, what about a spooky person? So Lyle would show the scan of, of the spook and how they, and it also has a still quoting of them stalking each other and then the spook going boo and disappearing. I and didn't know Lyle, boo, I just disappeared. Oh, I thought you said boo. No, I just disappeared. Eden just looks at this eyes oh. and said, congratulations, you met spook. As Vecna likes to call her. her. I'm not sure if that omelet is to save a dying nation or kill an enemy omelet. Yeah. But her look inspires terror in me. <laughs> Just that, that smug look, I love it. I'm guessing that's meant to be like an omelet in her hand. Next super shotgun. And then I'm going to go... Once Lyra would calm down, she, she would ask if there are any other scary lances she should know about. Uh, let's see here. Well, there's Slayer. He's part of the Breacher team. You probably won't 
run into him unless you decide to head over to a, to the breachers area. Trust me, they're just weird. Uh, I can turn my I can turn my uh my shit morning mech into an artillery piece. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I have howitzer. Yes, all mechs can can get a howitzer. Well, not all mechs. So yes, but... I now have an artillery piece ship boarding mech. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Beware the one five five. Oh, let's see here. Who else? Who else? Uh, hmm. I mean, Slayer would probably be the worst one you'd run into besides besides Spook, but Slayer will just mostly leave you alone. So but, I have uh, my boarding mech. I have my stealth mech. Which I need to go back and change up some weapons because I got new weapons I can use. What were you saying, Lyrell? Lyrell would nod as she calms down. Also, how did you get in here again? Oh, uh, you should consider updating your operating system. It has a lot of really exploitable backdoors. She just pauses. Dot dot dot. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, the, the, the Heaven's Gate operating system. It's it, it's it's not really good. Lyle like, would just turn around the pad. See, I just did this and this and I, I went around the lock. What the fuck? How do you have access to the operating system? I mean it's it's pretty simple, who you know? The operating system is part of my fucking brain. Oh, I ah uh... <laughs> uh... I would turn on the blink com and 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 phone home. <laughs> the phone home is just like, uh, hello. I need a diplomat. Now! Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let me go see if I can go find one. This is critical priority! Now! Oh no! Uh, yeah. There's just suddenly, uh, your call is being, your call is currently being transferred. Do, 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 do. I'd imagine they patch us through to, like, the queen. Yeah, The most exactly. diplomatic person. <laughs> exactly, just immediately patch to the queen. <laughs> Your Majesty, forgive me. I might have, I might have accidentally just sparked an incident. I, I was explaining how the operating system is really, really bad, and I, and I went around the security programs, but turns out the operating system is their brain, and I don't know what to do. I wasn't trained for this. Just suddenly, just hear the sounds of a hundred panicking cat girls and guys. Boys. The Queen and her council in the set in, in, in the Wem Senate. Whatever they were discussing is immediately just swept off the table as they're trying to figure out how to not get nuked by the union. <laughs> it is just like what is going on? Why am I hearing thousands of cats screaming? Eventually Lyle would just patch the queen through to the to her helmet comms. He didn't access his helmet comms. It's like, okay, what's going on right now? Who am I talking to? <laughs> you can Queen would introduce. Yeah, just introduce herself as the way I'm. Lots of fancy diplomatic wards. This is Commander Eden of Heaven's Gate, leader of the Fifteenth Expeditionary Fleet. And current acting, well, I guess, authority of Union within this realm of space. I did not get enough sleep to actually come up with fancy royal dignitary speak. No, don't worry, you're fine. We'll just say just that the guy Add extra oohs to it. <laughs> add extra oohs. <laughs> no, 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 no. The queen is is fancy. She doesn't go ooh woo. She goes nya with a British accent. 
There, see, now you're getting it. Oh, God. Yeah, with a British accent. I'm trying to imagine so... that, but it sounds cursed as all hell. It is. <laughs> The, the the conversation between Eden Ryrell and the entire court of of the Rem goes on for a few hours, and, and as, then... as they just try to apologize and and make up for any trans grievances, while Eden's still just trying to get information. But but they they are convinced that that they have to amend whatever insult happened, otherwise they'll be in great peril. You guys are fine. I. I was just informing Lyrell that the operating system is a part of me because I am the ship. There's, there's a huddle in the throne room. They are, they are offering 80% off. <laughs> You don't need to offer anything. This isn't a grievance. This is... I... <laughs> okay. I can't. It's, it's cracking me up so much. <laughs> how, how have these cat girls survived this long? <laughs> It's a as 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 the saying goes, by Ra's grace alone. And every day we stray further from Ra. <laughs> every day so, we stray further from Ra. How do I send? Oh, how do I send act a, a new mech? How do you what now? How do I change mechs to to a different active mech? Uh, you should just act? be. Yeah, you should just be able to activate it. File a roster, mech hanger. Yeah, you should just be able to set it oh, as your active yeah, mech. I, I, I figured it. I figured it. All right. So I have my Reaper Stealth mech. I have my second Reaper Stealth mech of a different make and model. Then I have my Jack Sparrow, who has who has the personality of Jack Sparrow, by the way, because of a. Uh, Comp slash con class assistant unit. Oh, oh yes, oh. comp con. The fancy toy. <laughs> yes, so now this mech speaks like Jack Sparrow and is pretty much Jack Sparrow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? It's ship to ship boarding. And it, yeah. And the thing can go stealth, by the way. Because of course it can, because of the whole thing with you. Wait, wait, never mind, never mind, I can't. Uh, yeah, no, I can't. I, I don't. I can, I had deployable cover. Um, yeah, I have deployable cover, and it's painted black like the Black Pearl. Mm. Nice. But yeah. No, this is this one's strictly for uh, shipboarding actions. Nice. So you went to therapy and came back as a pilot. <laughs> I think has many personalities. Oh, God. I I assume they the all give you machinations of her mind are an enigma. The machinations of the spooks' mind are an enigma. Go into her brain, falling milk. But uh, <clears throat> so like so uh, so after a while, Eden is able to convince them that there is no grievance. There was no; it was legitimately her just questioning Lyrell's way of thinking. <laughs> it was not meant to be taken as her being insulted. She is. She is just more curious about how she was able to figure out the parts of an NHB's brain more than anything. Well, I mean, they're running Windows 10, okay? It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> At least with, e 
Well, you don't just sign to say, I'll figure out how to patch up those those back doors. So we didn't even know those existed. Like, seriously, how do you how how do you understand this operating system? I would just look confused, not show up how to explain it. Try your best to explain, please. Well, uh... Don't, uh... don't tell me you guys studied the, the operating system on the ships that you guys had. Like, 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 well, would, would, would smile up at Eden and not say anything. Because she was asked not to tell her. Just very, very deep breath. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I can see why that I I I don't understand how to deal with your people at this time. <laughs> Very tired Eden noises. <laughs> just, just... I well would politely excuse herself, crawl out of the nook in the engine, leave the engine room. Ian just melts into the floor. And she and on Lyrell's comms, you are told to please leave the engine room before you try. Oh yeah, Lyrell Lyra. already did that. Okay. Uh, what were you trying to say, Spook? Question: Is the ship big enough where I can walk around in my Jack Sparrow mech? No. Well, the hallways are God meant for it. humans to walk in. God damn it! I I just wanted I just wanted to walk around and just like you doing Jack Sparrow memes. Unfortunately, you cannot. Sounds half tempted to have half tempted. Jericho just hack the hack. My mail is white. Just to play the Lonely Island at her. Hmm? What's up? Oh, I I saw the at Primaris Weiss, and I was like, what? And I'm like, oh, Vectus Weiss, okay. Yeah, I, I've explained this to you, haven't I? You have. You yeah. probably have. It's just been a while, and it probably wasn't relevant enough to for me to remember. Probably, but yes, race Primaris race is is Vecner. <laughs> I just call him so, Rice a lot, or Vecner, depending on the situation. Usually, I will Rice. would. Go to her quarters, grab that ball of gold. The heavy as hell bar of gold. Well, okay, Orby would grab the ball of gold. <laughs> That's more like it. And then she would, and then she would get her very artistically designed new mecha. <laughs> By the way, that's, that's an awe. You know, artist. Yes. Cool. And so I, I hopefully will have the job at Kroger. Oh, nice. So and yeah, I would... Lyrell would say that you know if if they need her to just message her, she needs to do she needs to attend to some captain duties of her fleet, yeah. as a as one of the REM troop transport pods would just appear like a hundred feet away from Heaven's Gate. Even just looking at the sensor, seeing this, just like, how, why, why do they keep doing? This? And it would, it would send a request. It would send a quest to board or dock. It will allow the request. Just, just wondering, like, ship how would does dock. She keep doing well this? and by well and the mecha would get on, and then it would leave again and disappear from all senses entirely as soon as it's out of Heaven's Gate. All right. <sighs> Meanwhile, it, it goes a hundred feet out and then enters the large Phoenix class repair vessel stationed there. All the realm have the realm have lots of stealth technology. They can go in this. They can do it very well. 
Or, but and they're also very easily scared. Yes, that there's is... a reason they have the best stealth technology in the galaxy. Is because they are very scared and want to hide. <laughs> but they are also overly polite. Such as, uh, let me go find it. Let me go find the thing of my oh, rel- oh, the rough sketch I made? The rough sketch of trying to cause a revolution. <laughs> so will there be combat this session? Yes, but I'm wanting Race to be here before I start it. Will it be ship to ship combat? Uh, hmm. Not sure. I don't think I don't. I don't think I'm ready to run ship to ship combat yet. Unfortunately. Sad. I wanted to do some boarding actions. Also, it's not ship to ship combat when you're on Heaven's Gate. It's just oh, there was a disturbance. It's gone now. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> It is jo- it is jokingly called the not a moon class for a reason. Who wants to board an enemy vessel and cause havoc on an enemy vessel with her artillery her artillery border? Why do you want to use an artillery gun in a spaceship? Because I had options, and I picked the I picked the most meme option I could find. Uh, just uh, sorry. You're like, why do I put up with you? Yes, I am actually starting to wonder this. <laughs> like, no offense, but, but holy hell! But I just I okay. So with how I am with my uh, disability and stuff. Whatever I I just try to make try to I try to keep make my make stuff I try to make people laugh. Yeah. But uh, so we're waiting on Beckner. Yes, we are. And I have no idea where he is. I know he went to sleep, but like. Oh, Scaly butt's on. Yeah, Scaly butt's on, but she's currently visiting family. Uh, yeah. They're still fizzing family and won't be available until next week, and even then they'll be gone. Let me double check. The third and fourth of next month, so they won't be available for a session after the 27th. Uh, Spook, did you see the other thing I linked to in art? Yeah, I did. Okay. Is indeed a funny. It is indeed funny. I mean, th- this was this was a very significant and notably violent moment in Rem history. <laughs> the most violent moment in Rem history. No, no, it was not the most. It was just notably, <laughs> notably violent event in Rem history. <laughs> you have said we can talk. You don't. <laughs> Oh, do be careful, you two. Please surrender. I don't want to hurt you. Hand over the queen, please. I don't want... I want to start a revolution. <laughs> Just so well, you see... Horrible. You see, she wanted to start a revolution because it had been... It had been her birthday recently, but unfortunately her father was a royal god, so wasn't able to make it to her birthday party, so she was quite upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh... <laughs> she wanted to start a revolution oh. because her dad couldn't make it to the birthday. <laughs> oh. uh, why? Why? Why does that make way too much sense for the rem? Because they're cat it's people like... with cat concerns. <laughs> who are who are very easily spooked. So spook shall will have fun now. Oh no. I mean, I don't think Spook will be able to become more terrifying than Vecna already is, but good luck. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I'm not trying to become more terrifying than Vecna. I'll just be popping out of random places around you. Oh no. Oh no. Lyle's stress is gonna go through the roof. 
Baby shark, do 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 do. Imagine this big going on the surface with her Jack Sparrow mech. That'd be interesting. You're gonna do what now? I'm debating if we if if the surface if it if surface combat does happen to take my Jack Sparrow mech for a test run. I mean that is entirely up to you guys. Well, I'm using okay. the unintended downtime in Vecno's absence to start a thing. <laughs> and considering that my weapon has at uh, 24 HP per structure, so but my power hole bonus gives me 12 plus 12, my power grip bonus gives me plus 4, my frame base HP is 8, I'm a size 2. I have a, a plus range 20 weapon. I have a deck sweeper a shotgun then in case they get within get within range for me. Uh I have Jaeger, Sabot, and Hellfire now for my ammo case. I'm limited to seven, so I can deploy cover. At stable structure, I gain plus one act accuracy on saves to avoid prone or knockback. And I can protect the shield. So basically, I have very tanky artillery peeps. Yeah, I just... <laughs> I, I'm still just questioning why artillery. Uh, well, because I actually like artillery. Artillery is fun. Makes things go. Make makes things disappear. Mm. Of course. Uh, there's there's um. Uh, fuck. There's a there's a meme. Uh, give me one. There's an artillery quote. Um, I'd say if it would be okay with everyone to take a break until Vecner gets here, would that be okay with everyone? Yep. The artillery adds dignity to what would other otherwise be an ugly brawl. Uh, uh, artillery man, would be okay with that. Okay, so I'm that's okay one wool. How many did you want? Uh, two more. Jesus Christ. Okay. Also, did you hear my quote? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's why. Uh, so, everyone's okay with taking a bit of a break until Vector gets here so we can, well, make sure there's so at least a majority yeah. of people here. Yep. Alright. I mean, Jericho's uh, just getting his first test model built. Vibrell is doing Vibrell things. The He's mech is, you know, is making sure her artillery piece has very good... has is so, a well, so we're all just taking Impa to downtime wheelie to do stuff. Yeah. That's probably best for Eden's stress. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Or does it cause her more stress that she doesn't know where Lywell is? Oh no. Keep your friends close and your enemies close to all that? I don't know. <laughs> I assume I assume Eden's going to the ship. She would be able to tell where... No, Lyrell isn't on the ship anymore. She's out with her oh. people. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Because the Rem are their own thing. And right now, the Rem are doing something over the planet. 
Oh yeah, by the way, you could you could explain what the bulk of the repair fleet is doing. The party could see that because it's uncloaked. Yeah, the bulk of the repair of the Rem repair fleet is currently building what looks to be some sort of station. It, as Lyrell really has, big... has put it, it's supposed to be a magnetic uh, containment station. Oh well, not containment, just shield. Lyrell talked with the Faust, and they explain the situation with the radiation and whatnot. So the Wem are building a giant magneto shield that'll that'll act as an artificial magnetic sphere to protect the planet from the sun's radiation. Which will help with Vecner's uh, terraforming efforts. But the thing is, Vecner's terraforming has already done already gone pretty well. But with that, we'll take a bit of a break. And so, PB, uh, right. should we boot up Final Fantasy fourteen. Sure. Uh, Jayco, care to join us? Yeah, I can do that. All right. Um, Let me just kind of around with new armor in Halo Infinite. <laughs>